Hi, I'm Ian Pye. Raised in Sydney, Australia and Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA, I've been travelling the globe since I was a nipper, thanks to Dad's job as a international engineer. He introduced me to the beauty of the natural environment in places like the USA, Canada, the tropical islands of the South Pacific, and of course my own backyard, Australia. That early love of the bush uh, led to my first job as a jackaroo, uh, which is basically a farm bloke rounding up sheep and cattle on horseback. That was before my environmental management degree, which segued into environmental roles. I was a ranger with the New South Wales National Parks and managed a World Heritage Area called Mungo Lake National Park. And I think this is where my landscape work really started. Fast forward through eight careers and 46 years, I've evolved from a farm boy through to programmer to management consultant, helping the government and others manage their projects with uh, planning their uh, strategic outcomes and capabilities. Along the way, I married a gem of a Thai woman who's my rock and travelling buddy through Southeast Asia. And I think uh, she's been a key influence on my photography as well by introducing me to those places. Talking of uh, photography influences, I got into it in the 80s at university, armed with a 35mm SLR and a darkroom, and was influenced by my uh, father, who was a whiz behind the lens. Those experiences and travelled to places like Mexico, Hawaii, Tahiti, Thailand, Laos and Vietnam cemented photography and photographic art as a lifelong passion for me. In landscapes, I love the brilliant reds and golds and yellows in a scene, whether it's uh, an abstract pattern or the uh, early morning sunrises or the sunsets. They present to me uh, something which is truly beautiful. And this approach uh, shows up in my Mekong Sunrise series, which fo focuses on small frames of the sunrise over the Mekong River in, in Thailand and Laos. These days, I'm also using uh, black and white, dialing down those hues to focus on textures and light variations. I find it's most expressive when I capture the faces and hands of those I meet and you can observe and feel the story of their lives. You can see some examples in my uh, black and white portfolio on the Jasmine Images website. In terms of what I'm doing now, I've got a couple of uh, ongoing projects, mostly fueled by the beaches here in Eastern Australia. One focuses on the details of lines, textures and colours coming out in the dry sand of the beach, the wet sand, the waves and uh, people movement along the shore, capturing what I feel is the essence of the place. You can see the result in my Coromel and uh, Glenelg beach shots, uh, which is in my abstract set. The other project's a bit of a, a time capsule experiment, using long exposures to catch the dynamics between the still and the bustling on the shore. I also like the strength of narrative. I find myself embarking on the stories of the lives of village folk and an orphanage in which I'm closely associated. A woman of the rice fields in the portfolio of my website is an example of that. Sometimes my travels take me face to face with the hard realities of life, especially in um, Southeast Asia, and I try to catch that in portraits, increasingly in back, black and white, zeroing, zeroing in on the faces and the hands that, that tell their own stories. I'm still on that upward learning curve, constantly learning to get that shot I find most pleasing, and if I'm lucky, others find it interesting too. I'm always going to be learning from other photographers and photographic artists who share their work with the world. I just hope that uh, as I age, my eyesight is the last thing that fails so I can continue on this photographic journey.